Welcome back to another Castle game featuring everyone's Deli Sultanate. Fi I said that backwards. Everyone's favorite Deli Sultanate player, Salami, playing over here uh, as the blue Deli versus Don Artie, who is a uh, prominent AOE 3 player who has been on the AOE 4 professional scene, very talented, uh, playing as the English. And the map we have here is Lippany. Not a map you typically see Delhi being played because a lot of times players will play them on water ma river maps rather. Um, but you know Salami, he's not scared to play Delhi on just about any map. So you know, at at a glance here, I would say you know advantage here is to Don Artie and the English. Uh, the English are very strong civilization, good at pressure, especially on a land map like this. But I have seen Salami do some crazy walling on this map before. There's typically some choke points, but now that I look at it, these chokes are rather big. So I'm not sure if he's going to be able to make take full advantage of these. Now, looking out uh, at the scouting situation, it does look like Salami has a single scout, while uh, Don already has a scout here. Both players rocking the one scout right now. You do see Don already doing a very standard English opening. Seven villagers to food, then he puts three villagers on gold. He might even do two. Uh, let's see. He's, he's going to do two on gold. Okay. So he's doing eight on food, two on gold. That's his macro there for the first age. Let's check out uh, uh, Salami's. Salami has seven villagers on the berries, and he's got one on wood already. Look at that. Seven on the berries, one on wood, uh, and two on gold. Now, there's a reason why Salami is on the berries right now. Uh, the reason why, typically you see players early on go for the sheep first, just so you don't have the walking time, even though Delhi does have, of course, a bonus for gathering berries. But a lot of times against English, you go for the berries first because the English are likely going to come in here and raid and pressure you off your resources. So it's better for him to get this food now, and then when the longbows come in, he can fall back to the sheep. So it's just kind of a tactical way to uh, make sure your food supplies are going to last. Go for the berries first, and then the, the sheep. Um, and of course, if he picks up more sheep, which he's doing a good job of, he'll have plenty of food for a while. We do see that mosque being dropped right now for the Delhi Sultanate. Of course, they've got the free technologies, but they're slow. They're very slow. But that mosque will spawn with a single scholar, and it will cut down the time of these uh, research. Uh, and then he'll likely get the sufficient production, which allows him to garrison a scholar inside a military building. And it makes it uh, basically... Uh, you can see their boost of production speed by 100%, followed by typically he goes for Sanctity, which allows them to get those sacred sites. There's two sacred sites right now on this map, one here, or three sacred sites rather. So a potential of two, four, 600 passive gold income for Delhi if he is able to capture those. Don Arnie aging up, of course, with the Council Hall. Pretty standard for the English, going for wood. We're going to see longbows coming out once we hit the next age. Now, very interesting base building here for Sami. Look at this. Very, very, very compact. Um, I, t I typically see this spaced out a little bit. Um, maybe part of the, the theory is there's less walking time for his scholars uh, if they're just popping right into the mosque, but I don't know. Very, very compact. I, I kind of like it. We'll have to see how this plays out. What is Slami going for? He's going for wheelbarrow. So this would tell me that Slami is probably not going for professional scouts because if you're going to go the professional scouts route, typically you get survival techniques followed by professional scouts. But he still could do it. I know Slami likes to typically open stable against English, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if he does it. Anti ram push, yeah, it will help if your uh, if your uh, landmark is close by, right? It definitely will. So a lot of sheep. He needs to make sure he doesn't lose this to a town center, especially English town centers. Man, do they shoot fast because they have this network of the castles, uh, which m makes everything shoot uh, faster around uh, towers, town centers, castles, etc. Okay, so we've got a stable. I told you he likes to open stable against the English. I wonder if he'll put a garrison, a scholar, and go for efficient production. It's a little hard to do efficient production with uh, with the stable right away because uh, the horseman costs 100 food, 20 wood. It's a little expensive on the food early on in the uh, in the second age. But uh, let's see. Has he gone for professional scouts? You know, I said he might go for it, and he, in fact, has. Look at this. He went for professional scouts. He might have misclicked, gone for the wheelbarrow first, or maybe he purposely wanted it. There's there's several schools of thought here, because with wheelbarrow, it makes your villagers move a little bit faster, which allows them to escape raiders. So as those longbows come in, his villagers will move just slightly faster to get out of the way. But, uh, 
you know, he's going to be going for these professional scouts. Let's check where the hunts are. We got one here. We've got one here, one here, and one here. Now, Longbow's already coming across the map, of course, for the English. Any barracks? No barracks, but he's gone for that steeled arrow right away. 125 food, 50 wood. So a nice macro for that in transition. Uh, you do see he has two villagers on gold currently. Uh, it does look like he has seven on food and 12 on wood. Now, with his scout, you see a lot of high-level players do a lot of scouting. He was able to scout out that Slami has the horsemen, and he backed up his longbows. In, in, in groups, actually, longbows can take on these horsemen just fine, especially with the steeled arrow. But uh, luckily, that scout caught that before, you know, one or two. One, you know, a straggler uh, longbow would have been easy to pick off. So the the two uh, horsemen here just had delayed Don Ari's forces. And now he's, let's see, is he training scouts yet? Yes, he has. So he got two horsemen, and now he's training those scouts. Uh, he has three scholars already garrisoned inside the mosque. So we've got professional scouts to be done in just about another minute. Now, Professional Scouts is typically pretty good against English because English have a bonus for their farming. Not only is their farms are much cheaper, uh, but they, they gather much faster from their farms than other civilizations. Um, and because of that, they do not typically go for hunting. Um, so with that, it leaves a, a higher chance that he can come out, pick up these hunts, and just have a lot of food under his town center. Now that steel arrow has completed, and he's now going for the fitted leatherwork, which will give him that defense against the melee of the uh, the horsemen. Now look at this. He basically bluffed with those two horsemen, because two horsemen could maybe take this, but would probably die. And now he just has scouts behind it. Right now he has currently four scouts trained up. Losing a scout though right now is unfortunate for Slami. He wants to keep this alive in order to get his, uh, in order to get his his professional scout. Uh, sorry, his his deer in. Now we have a barrack. Barracks was dropped, and spearmen are being trained. And spearmen are very very effective against the horsemen. And what does that mean? Well, Salami will need an archery range to deal with this. And look at that, he has one. And what's inside there? He garrisoned a scholar, and you can see with the efficient production, he's able to train an archer every seven seconds. This is basically the equivalence of looking at two archery ranges. He did throw down a blacksmith and is getting his iron undermesh to have that iron undermesh to have that defense from those longbows. Longbow's poking in, but honestly, the map has kind of graced Slami with uh, no... Because sometimes you can have, like, your berries spawn forward. Uh, but he had a back berry bush. He's got a pretty defensive... Uh, uh, lump, like, the trees, I guess, he could poke in, right? He could run around here and poke at these. But this is a walk. The longbows do have to walk around. So I don't know why Don Artie is sitting there targeting that, uh, that mining camp. That's not really a high-value target for Salami. But... Uh, here we go. Don Ari's coming around the side. It does look like he's... Look at that. We see that transition to farming uh, already, like I had kind of had mentioned before. Now, these scouts will tank a lot of damage here in this fight, and with an equal archer numbers, he'll be just fine to engage this. So here we go. we got a horseman. There's two horsemen. He's hopefully going to target down the spearmen, and uh, he does get one spearman, two spearmen down. The horsemen are doing plenty of job with the scouts, tanking damage, forcing those longbows to retreat. And this is honestly a cleanup for uh, for Salami. This is a situation. I mean, you stop that initial English push or start to uh, slow down their troops. Uh, you're in a good situation because Delhi just wants to survive the second age, get to age three. So there we go. He has kind of pushed back the English forces. He has to regroup now. Uh, he is still sending troops across, so I will expect to see another push. A lot of times you do see uh, English players drop a tower with this, which Don already could have done because the tower could give a speed boost to all of his units, and you can jump in and garrison as, uh, you know, if, if, if cavalry are, are charging you or whatever. But... Uh, no, uh, no tower for Don Arty. Kind of curious that he uh, did not decide to do that because it did look like he was going for a push. But I don't know. He could have been just trying to force a response. Let me see. Has he got siege engineering? Nah, I don't know. No siege engineering yet. He is dropping a second archer range though, so I feel like he is going to be committing to the second age right now, uh, not aging up uh, right uh, quite yet. Meanwhile, Salami. Does he have a sanctity done? He does have sanctity, but he has not gone for those sacred sites yet, which he could. We have a second archery range going down, uh, or is built rather. And so this is like basically three archery ranges. He does have efficient production currently inside his stable, so he can train those very quickly if he wants to. 
But uh, resource-wise, a little down. Let's look at the villager count. 33 for Salami versus 33 for Donati. They are neck and neck. And uh, here we go. Salami looking to push out with a few of his archers. He's got 17 archers. Uh, but with those scouts and the uh, the horsemen, that really can make a difference. Now look at this. Despite having all these scouts, he's using them uh, not to just go out and grab the hunts blindly. He's using them to tank damage and pressure these longbows in these fights. So, like, look at this. He's just using, like, two or three scouts to bring his hunts. He's leaving, using the other ones to tank the damage, which is really smart. Some players you might see just sending, you know, seven scouts around, collecting all the hunts, and they've made big differences in these fights. But Don Artie, high-level player, uh, sees through the scout tactics. The scouts don't deal a ton of damage. He has been microed his longbows onto those archers, and look at that. He has uh, taken out all of the archers of Salami, uh, and I think this was a good fight for Don Artie right now. Yeah, I think that's good. And uh, now Salami uh, has spent a lot of resources powering out those archers and has lost quite a bit of numbers. He has plenty of food on his town center, as you can see there. But since he is currently gathering gold, this indicates one thing. Salami is looking to age up because nothing else costs gold for the Delius alternate in the second age, other than the, the scholars, of course. Now, we do see this outpost being dropped down we talked about before. This will give that, that network of uh, is this castles or keeps or whatever. I can't remember what it is in the first age. Network of castles. Yeah, it will give that uh, attack bonus. So English get a 25% attack speed bonus if they get this tower up and an enemy runs nearby it. So you'll see the little radius that it gives off. Actually, it's it's not a little radius. It's a giant radius. Okay. And we also saw that a setup camp ability being used to heal up the lower HP longbows there. Okay. And he's targeting down the mining camp. I'd really like to see uh, Don Arty maybe come around the side here and start pressuring into the wood line of Salami. I really think he could honestly push pressure both of these wood lines because they are outside the town center radius. But... Uh, He's shooting at the mining camp, which one thing he is doing, he's preventing Slami from aging at the... Wait, has he? I thought Slami was gathering gold. Where does gold go? Maybe he's queued up scholars. That is what he's done. He's going to get the sacred sites, though. So though he's not gathering gold here, uh, each sacred site is worth 200 gold apiece. And look, there's two scholars. Oh, he's going to get all three of them. Look, one there. Or at least he's going to start to capture them. Horsemen uh, running out, and uh, they will do a good job at backing those longbows off for now. The archers are, want to target the spearmen. We do see uh, two, three, four horsemen go down. But there is that tower up. You see that uh, bell going off. They currently have the Network of Castles bonus. So this is a good spot kind of for Don Arnie to fight. But I think there's just enough horsemen in, in this fight to uh, do some significant damage. Look at that. Kind of playing Ring Around the Rosie on the... Uh, the tower in order to mess with the cavalry pathing. But this is a huge problem for Don Arnie because he's lost this engagement. And at the same time, Slami is taking all three sacred sites. So this will be 600 gold income per minute. You know, you can compare villagers all you want, but that easy 600 gold is huge for the Delhi Sultanate. So this is kind of exactly what Slami could possibly want. Uh, as he's taking kind of map control, military control here, he has taken all of the sacred sites, and now he can run between them with his horsemen and uh, just be powering out the gold. He will be aging up very, very soon. Within a minute, he'll have the gold he needs. He just needs to get the food now, of course. Which he has plenty of food under his town center. Has he picked up the enemy's deer? Not yet. Not yet. But I imagine he might go for that now. Maybe? We'll see. Slami could also start walling with infantry. Of course, Delhi have that ability to build walls, but it doesn't look like he's done it a whole lot here. It's sometimes it's a delicate balance. If you spend too much res on walls early on, it makes it harder to mass up your archers and your horsemen. So uh, Don Artie, uh, kind of in a weird spot. He has got his farm, his two farms, his transition farms, but uh, he did not uh, look at that. He's low on res. He's nowhere near time to age up. He's remassing his army. He has lost a lot of troops, but Salami has a decent standing army. Let's look at the military right now. Look at that. You can check it out. Actually, it says Don Artie has technically killed more and lost less, but um, I think Salami is ahead right now in the military. Let's look at the gold income. Oh, yeah. Income per minute. Look at this. That's exactly what I told you. 600 gold per minute. 
And he was trying to wall. I said he might do this. Now, this is a nice spot. Honestly, troops path really weird when they're building walls. And look at this. He picks off one, two, three archers, four archers for, you know, for free. I don't think he got the fourth one. But so this is nice for, uh, for Slami. And I think that Scholar is going to grab that relic once he reaches the third age. Is he aging yet? Uh, not quite yet, but will be very, very soon. Oh, as I say it, here comes that compound defender. Now, the compound of the defender makes it so that uh, your infantry with Delhi, uh, where they typically can build the palisade walls, they can then build stone walls, and they also will get a a a, a discount on it. So it'll, everything costs 25% less. So stone walls, keeps cost 600 stone instead of 800 stone, towers, whatever. Uh, you get the picture. So it's a, it's a nice upgrade with your... Uh, infantry be able to quickly throw up stone walls and then of course can build the stone wall towers and there you see Slami has sniped those deer I mean Don already probably had no plan in eating them but this only is a benefit to Slami he's got plenty of food safely under his town center at the moment but look at that Don uh, he has to sense that Delhi is aging right now and he's trying to put some pressure but here again look at this just a nice horseman mass. Yes, he's hit the next age, but it might not even matter. If he cleans up this army, uh, we do see those spearmen uh, being wiped out by the, uh, a significant mass of archers. And then the horsemen will be just uh, free to just charge on in. He's going to work on his upgrades, but of course with Delhi, they aren't the fastest. He hasn't started them quite yet. I think he's just busy microing his army at the moment. Um, we do actually see a little bit of a lapse in micro. He might be queuing up his text. Oh, uh, he's queuing up his relic grabs. So he wasn't microing. He's focused on grabbing those relics right now out of the map. And Don has to realize, like, oh, crap, I'm an age behind. He's looking to age, but he's still a, a way, a little bit of a ways off. And I think he needs to apply a little bit of pressure uh, or try to pick off some villagers if he's to stay in this because Salami has... Well, it looks like he has one sacred right now. He did lose them. So he did a good job capping those. Uh, but he still has that gold income. You can look at that gold, that income for a minute. Is Don aging? No, he's not aging. Oh, wait, I heard the sound. I heard the sound. You guys know what time it is. What time is it? Elephant cam. Here we go, baby. And at the same time, we got a mangonel taking a huge shot on those longbows. Here comes the elephant. <laughs> longbows, beware. Slami's Tower Elephant coming to town at the same time. There's a big wall of those somewhere, but we are way too busy watching this beautiful, majestic creature lay down the pain on Don Artie's longbows with a mangonel on the back line. This is, this very likely could be GG. And as I say it, good game is called. And Slami taking the win with Delhi Sultanate on a completely land map against Don Artie's English. I hope you enjoyed this casted game. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below if you have something to say. And as always, I'll see you over live on Twitch. Thanks.